Hello, and I would like first to thank the opportunity to be here to talk to everybody about this special property. Um, and also I would like to tell that all the information I'm going to talk now and this information who comes from generation to generation in your family guns like from my grand grandfather so all the information is much more practical than theoretical one so right now this is the, the part of family who is in charge of the treatment uh, on the left side is Sergio then Celeste who are the granddaughters of Stephen uh, for so many years and uh, uh, this year it's making like uh, 50 years of uh, seeing people, treating people, and all of the, the time have a lot of serious religious problems. And then this year we decided to create this organization, the Steven Maria Kovacic Association, so we can, we can go further and make some partnership with some scientists who are interested in studying these methods. Uh, so this is Steven Kovacic, who is the scientist who developed this method, the Kovacic method. Uh, he began his research in night. Uh, night 48. The first thing he did in his theory was uh, making the analogy of between the place where the people live and the, and the disease. The first fact happens in his backyard. Uh, her, he, his wife used to raise uh, chickens in the backyard. Was these chickens were divided in two fields. The chickens from the first field uh, start to get sick. Some of them get owned, uh, some tumors, and some of them were dying. So uh, he just moved the chickens with show life to the second field, and then they get okay, the disease don't grow any more longer. So he nursed in this place where the chickens were living, there was some uh, evil radiation that was making these chickens uh, sick. So he started to research, there was uh, some period in there, and then he started to uh, compare this irradiation to people who had cancer. For so many years, he, when he knew someone was having cancer, he asked to go to his place and analyze the environment he was living. This is a sample of the drug he used. Uh, on the red, red, uh, the red line in there uh, symbolizes the pathway, the irradiation goes to the bed, so the person on the right is under the inflation of this evil radiation. So this is another one. Uh, here you can see in the left side, the person on the left side is the inflation of this uh, evil radiation that symbolized by the red line. So uh, after so many years and uh, studying, analyzing cancer, uh, analyzing this irradiation, uh, he noticed that every person who was sick had this irradiation. Uh, also, under this radiation flash, uh, he knows this is uh, the main reason. So he went after and discovered that this radiation comes from the under uh, the ground water vents contaminated. Uh, after 12 years of research, he concluded that cancer um, is caused by a virus which vibrates in radiation. Uh, cancer is not contagious. Cancer is not hereditary. Cancer is contracted on individual basis. More than six years ago, uh, Stephen Kovacic uh, uh, was to say that cancer is a disease uh, from the body as a role, not to a specific organ. It assumes the form of a virus and manifests itself in the weakest part of the body. Those virus stay uh, in two parts of the body, nearby the area of the heart and the spleen. Going back to the origin of the cancer, he used to say the person gets cancer after being exposed to this evil radiation for several hours. Uh, the person needs to be like uh, more than three, four hours every day, seven or several days of the week, uh, for one to two years. After this period, the cancer manifests itself in the classical forms like bones, tumors, or others. This contaminated water from the underground comes when the clear water comes in contact with wastewater in cesspool. Uh, we don't have the information how high the, there is no limit, we don't have the limits, but uh, this radiation can go all through floors of a building. And what happens? Uh, when you start to get in contact uh, in this irradiation field, uh, 
and the virus you be incubated in your body. Uh, during this virus, you'll be incubated for the period of one to two years. After two years of exposure, the virus will be ready to manifest itself. After uh, this two years period, the first virus you radiation through your body and you find a weak spot, so it, you manifest it in the classical forms. After this first manifestation, uh, there's a period of one to three years, then the second virus you manifest it itself, but in a much more stronger way, since the body is weaker than the first time. But first, the, uh, before the, the classical manifestation, when are uh, in these two periods the virus is incubated, uh, the person you feel some dysfunction in her body. Uh, you feel like weariness, exposure, trauma, sleep. You walk, you wake up more tired than when to sleep. Feel pain throughout the body. Others, uh, small dysfunctions that makes the person goes to the doctor, but the doctors cannot make a correct diagnosis what's <coughs> happening. And this is a picture of Steven. I'm sorry about the poor quality, but it's from a newspaper. It's from 965. Uh, in this picture, he, it's part of the first period of treatment who he used to use a drug to treat people. And unfortunately, he didn't write much notes about his work. In the small piece of paper, had most of loss, loss, but this is one uh, about his notes. And when he made note about the patient, he used to say the number, uh, like this, the first one is 211, uh, the name, the street, address, and what the problem is. Um, here I'm going to talk about some uh, data about his work, but all the data I'm going to talk about, all the information is based on only on the information was written. And we know there's much more that was, was not written and even lost during this time. Here, uh, I'm going to talk about 2,346 people who, he, who did the treatment the first time, uh, the drug one, between 96 to 1982. I'm going to talk about the number of people who look for him. We can see in here, when he, uh, he first started to see people publicly. Before this, he only see people during the research, people who look for him, and he just helped, but not officially. From 6 to 6 5, uh, you can see it was increasing the number of people who are treated. And all those people uh, went there because someone who already did it was invitating him to go. In 6 5, there was uh, this, he had to stop, that's why he went down to 11. He had a lot, he suffered a lot of political pressure to stop. He came up, uh, after a while, after some years, he came back again treating people, but Again, in 79, he had to stop. Uh, he was definitely, he had to quit the drug treatment and start to work in the capture of energy for treating those people. Uh, here's a, another picture from newspaper. Uh, in the first, the first part of the picture, Esteban is measuring the radiation of the bile of this person to check if he, he has the same radiation that comes from the underground. In the back, uh, there's another person who are doing a pyramid session. Is the new treatment he developed after the drug. And he's just a picture of him in his office in 80, 81. Uh, let's talk about um, the, the cancer in, from the Kovacic method view. Uh, the therapy he developed, uh, the cancer to Kovacic was a virus, was not a manifestation. And the tumors, the leukemia, sarcoma, any of them are considered like a manifestation of the disease. So to treat a person, uh, the, the method is developed, the therapy is divided in three parts. The first one is measuring, measuring the radiation in the body. The second one is eliminate this irradiation, the disease causative agent. And the third one is isolation, the person from this irradiation, so the disease wouldn't come back.